The eloquent ORM is what Laravel actually uses to communicate with your database. We have already touched briefly on it and we've been using it all along, obviously doing something like customer all. Most of the time though, you're going to be able to restrict what you're actually bringing back into your index view. Why don't we explore some of the ways that we can add some where clauses. If you are familiar with database development, then you know that most of the time you're not going to retrieve all of your customers all at once. Let's jump into PHP Artisan Tinker. PHP Artisan Tinker is just a way for us to interact with our application without actually being inside of our application. Inside of here, each line will be as if you had written code line by line. So we could say customers equals, we'll have to do the full namespace. We'll say app customer all. And right now in our database, we have three customers. So there's several ways that we can restrict this. We can say, okay, I want the customer where the ID is equal to one. So we could say customer equals app customer. And then we could say where, and then what column are we looking for? We're looking in the ID column where the ID is equal to one. Now at this point, we would actually need to fetch the record. So we need to instruct Laravel to go ahead and perform the query because what could happen is that you could actually continue to chain other where statements from here. To tell Laravel that you are done, then you say get. And now we have the customer with ID of one. This is similar to what we did in the show view in our controller, except that because we are using route model binding, then we are not actually doing it manually, but we're letting Laravel take care of it for us. Another thing you could do though is say, well, what about other columns? Well, surely you could say where the name column is equal to maybe Victor. And that would return the exact same result. And it's that one right there. Let's add the concept of active customers and inactive customers into our application. And let's see what that would look like. Let me exit out of Tinker. Go back in here. And the first thing we need to modify is our migration. So this is one tricky bit about migrations. Every time you change something in the migration, it will not reflect in your database right away. You need to actually rerun the migration, but doing so erases your entire database. This is okay during development. You're going to make a lot of changes to your migrations throughout development. And the thing about it though, is that it will erase your database every time you run all of the migrations, which isn't great. And there are some workarounds that you could do like factories. And we'll talk about those later down the road, but just know that it's okay to modify your migrations. Yes, you will lose your records, but there is no sense in recreating a new migration to add a field when in fact you haven't deployed your code. Once your code has been deployed to a server though, of course you don't want to lose your database. So what you would actually do is instead of changing a current migration, you're going to create a new migration that does the modifications that you need. For now, this is okay because we have not deployed any code. So we'll add a new one here. We'll say table, and we can do this in one of two ways. We can either store it as an integer, or you could even store it as a string, but just know integers are a lot quicker for MySQL to be able to grasp into and sort by and things like that. So let's use that. So let's use an unsigned integer, not big integer, just integer. So unsigned integer, and let's call this column active. I'm gonna teach you something else here. If you need a default, you can say default right after that. And we'll say, okay, default will be one. Imagining that one is equal to active and then zero is equal to inactive. So by default, any customer you add will simply be active and that's okay. Then we can filter on only active records. Okay, let's see what that would look like. Like I said, we need to go ahead and rerun this migration and we can run that with PHP artisan migrate and then there's a couple of different ones but the one that you will use the most often is just fresh fresh erases the database it truncates every single table and then reruns your migrations and there we go so now when we go back to our project all of our records are gone but now whenever we add a new record we'll say new cool customer email email.com and add new customer let's go back into tinker and let's see what we have now PHP, Artisan, Tinker. 
let's go ahead and fetch that one record with ID of one. So now we have an active column with one. So pretty cool stuff. Let's do something. Let me add yet another customer here. Then we'll do test at test.com. Okay, so now we've got two customers. So there we go. Okay, so here's what I can do. Let me grab that first customer again. Now this is gonna return a collection. Notice here that we have a collection of records and then inside of that is where we have our array. One thing you could do here when you're doing where and you're only expecting one record is instead of get, you can run first. And that will be a slightly different result. And we'll talk about it just now. So we'll do first. And at first, well, this seems basically about the same thing. The biggest difference here is that this is returning a single customer. It's returning a model, right? Remember, a model is just a representation of a row in your database. This one, you get a collection. And a collection, in very simple terms, is simply just a fancy array. Think of a collection as just a fancy array with added benefits. You'll learn to love collections as you start to use Laravel because they are very powerful. But it's not as easy to get the underlying objects as it is whenever we get the app customer. So on this app customer that I have, I can make actual changes to it. So we'll say active, let's set that equal to zero. And then we'll save the customer. So we'll say customer, save. Now that's true. So now let's fetch all of our customers. We've got one, two, one is active of zero and the other one is active of one. Okay, so now I only want to display active customers in this list. Let's make the necessary changes in our customer controller. Remember, we are hitting the index method. This is the method here that displays all of our customers. We are no longer going to use all, but let's create that same thing we had in Tinker. We'll say where the active column is one. And then remember, we need to let Laravel know, go ahead and fetch these customers. We do that with the method of get. All right, let's give that another go. I'll hit refresh. Now, sure enough, another one is the only one that shows up. And another one is this one right here. It does have active. Let's revert the change just to show that everything is working. I'll grab that one record again. And then we'll say customer active equals one. Let's go ahead and save that customer. Okay. Refresh. There we go. Now we have two of our customers. There's a lot to where statements and things like that in Eloquent. But throughout this lesson, we start to understand the concept of how you would actually use things like where clauses in your database, such as the difference that we saw between a collection and when you have an actual record. Just to reiterate, because this is a very important point that I think a lot of people starting out with Laravel get a little bit confused about. They may think that a collection is a record in the database, and it's not. Again, a collection is just a fancy array. Most of the time, you will use get, and you will be inside a collection. And in that point, if you think of it as an array, you need to be able to iterate through each of the records. You can't just simply go into the first record and change something, but rather you would do a change to probably all the records. If you only need one particular record, in that case, you can call first. Not only will this actually give you the exact record you're looking for, but it will actually return you the model itself, not a collection that contains the model inside. That's the key difference there. So that's it. That is the basic difference between get and first and how to add a word statement to your eloquent calls.